get to you know up close and personal with our artists right here on star fm sounding good all the time and tonight our guest is an award-winning zimbabwean gospel artist and a businessman and uh we're going to talk more about how he started and stuff he was a secular pop musician and he collaborated with an extra large before switching to gospel music he became prominent after the release of tom Rumbiza, you know which became a hit on so many radio stations in Zimbabwe in 2011. His name is Tembalami, and he gives to us, in fact, Tembalami presents to us his top 10 songs. So I think before we press play on the top 10, ah, we need to welcome Temba. Temba is looking fresh and young. Temba, what have you been doing? <laughs> Ah, uh, hey. <laughs> No, no, no. We need we, we seriously need to talk about because okay, okay. in fact, in in twenty sixteen when I took over the gospel grace from Napster, mm. you were looking like this. Mm. And this is twenty twenty three. You're looking like this. But that's unfair. No, no, you know what happens with age is one day you're going to cut off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what people do. Like, yeah, you, they just the people that just look the same, look the same. Like, Pharrell is one of those for me. Like, ha, <laughs> Pharrell, that dude doesn't get old. Like, you're like, and then with the ladies, Gabriela Union, Halle Berry, yeah, they just J Lo. All these, as, all these as people, for J Lo, I'm, like, I'm I'm angry with J Lo. Why why isn't she aging, man? And she's such a Attack, you know, like a high, high, high. We, we played J Lo in the 90s, guys. In the <laughs> 90s, and she was looking hot like that. Yeah, and now they tell us she's, she's still looking <laughs> like 20 something. We're gonna have a blast, guys. <laughs> Timbalab is in the building, and he put together his top 10. This is the song that is on number 10. Uh, Pana I mean, we are streaming live Star FM Zimbabwe on my Facebook page as well. You've on Timachke Star FM, and you can get to see Timba on Rugu to Timba. Ah, but guys, look, we press play on number 10 and when we come back, we kick off the conversation. Here is Tim Balami's top 10. Stop. You, see, you see this song, for me, uh, is the epitome of genius. Mm. I think this is one of the greatest songwriting of our time. Wow. When I, when I listen to this song, yeah. I, I'm like baffled. Like, how does one come up with, uh, did you find it BP? I'm like... <laughs> That that just one the first line on the you got me on the first line. I was like, I did you go for the baby? I was like, what? <laughs> and then the whole concept of forgiving someone in advance for something that I that they are yet to do to you. Like you were saying, could he went preacher on us? You know. Yeah. Do practicality Exactly. Because God loves us with a love. They would even We are already forgiven because Definitely. the word says that, you know. And sometimes we actually go in there. Forgiveness is guaranteed. But my point is, mm. for him to actually then say it to us, because you know, First Corinthians talks about the fruits of love and how we should forgive long suffering. Mm. But to actually forgive someone in advance. That's like a deep, deep, deep level. I know it was deep. Revelation. Like and, and then he, he just the examples that he puts in and everything, mm. he, he makes the gospel alive. Like yeah. it, it becomes very present. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not King James, it's new day translation, yeah, like yeah. every day it's real. Zim, Tembalami translation. It's day to day. Yeah. And thank you so much, hey, for, for coming. Thank you for honoring our No, invite. thanks for having me. It's, it's been a minute. It Campus is. Like <laughs> <laughs> but um, I know that as I was introducing you, I yeah. did say that you started in pop uh, music mm. and stuff like that. Just briefly take us back to that background, how it was like for you finding yourself and finally saying, I think gospel is my thing. Um, for me, it was, um, I think it's not just me. Mm. I think a lot of secular artists, some of my friends mm. also have this struggle yep. that there is... Um, there is a demand to be this persona when you're doing secular music mm. so the people even if you look at even hip-hop artists in the states mm. the person that you see in the music videos and everything and the person that you meet in person totally different people mm -hmm. like if you meet someone like beyonce very calm mm -hmm. chilled person Askana, yeah when, when they are there so there's always this fight for mm. most secular artists because most of us were raised in the church mm -hmm. we've got faith we believe in god we believe for something better and sometimes we struggle with the content that we put out there yep. because for it to trend it has to be shocking okay and that was my thing with uh, with secular music yeah every day i had to write something 
worse than the one I wrote before. <laughs> worse? For, for, yes. Because it has to shock. So it, it, it's either it has to sound nasty or if I took a someone or mm, beef na someone, mm, mm. There, there's just... To be relatable. Exactly. So that's that people relevant. connect and to be relevant. So yeah. uh, this was before social media. Imagine now mm -hmm. being an, so, a, a secular artist now. Yeah. What you have to do for people to keep you in their minds. So for me, the trade-off was just too expensive for me. Yeah. Yeah. But my soul couldn't take it. I, I'm, I've always been a Christian, even in that secular oh, space. Oh, in that space you were still a Christian. I was still a Christian. So I was singing in a bar at 2 a.m. And I'm not drinking and I'm not smoking and I'm just there. You know when you're the only sober <laughs> guy there? Boring guy, yes. they say. Yeah, and you be, you become the boring guy because yeah, yeah. you don't want to do crazy. <laughs> you don't want to do anything. Yeah. And because you are the one singing the music, you're tired. You don't even want to dance. And then there's this drunk guy who keeps coming into your face like, oh, <laughs> you want to pay the best boots, man. <laughs> you know, you're not even there, you're tired. Yeah, and, and, and you're just in that space. And then at the end of it all, you are looking at how much am I even getting paid mm. to do all of this? Okay. And then you realize... I'm not even get, getting paid enough. So it was too taxing for you. It was taxing. The long and short of it. Yes, it was, it was too taxing. much. Okay. Yeah. But in, in 2011, you came to the limelight after you released Tom Rumbiza, yes. which I said um, was such a hit. Mm -hmm. And you are coming from, you know, pop, and you're coming from secular and, and, and all of those things that we spoke about. Mm -hmm. Were you ready for the traction it came with? Because you were the young guys, and I remember us, you know, uh, listening to you, watching you on TV, I think I was just starting college or was my A-levels. And we're saying, eh, those guys are hot, chi chi chi. Mm -hmm. And they're actually bringing that vibe. And now Wellington Quend, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were the same guys that you guys exactly, were singing yeah. with. Sebastian, I think, was somewhere in the mix. Yes. And the traction that it came with, mm -hmm. you know, were you ready for that? You were young then. Yeah, I was I was very young. But one of the things that um, I learned quickly is, is vision. Mm -hmm. So most of the stuff that happened to me is stuff that I have already dreamt of, prayed about, visualized. I see, uh, I have got a bit of foresight. So one of the things that I learned in my secular space yeah. is also, uh, that's where I met Mark D and all the producers that I worked with, the backing vocalists. You know Trevor Dongo was one of the backing vocalists on my album. Yes. Trevor was A backing vocalist <laughs> on my first album. Are we, you serious? Yeah, we were tight like that. And we're still, oh, we're still wow. good friends. So one of the things that I learned is the, mm. the hard work, the promotion of music and everything. So uh, when Trading My Sorrows came out, we had already performed it at weddings and all this. So we, yeah. we had given it a test run before mm -hmm. we even went into studio. And I sang it at my best friend's wedding. I was the best man. Yes. Who's best friend? Which best friend is this? <laughs> but you, yeah. sh you, you shocked us. Trevor Dong was a baking vocalist in my songs at gospel. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, no, we did a lot of gospel projects then with Trevor. Wow. Yeah, we... we, we he was not yet the, um, the Trevor Dong that no, we heard. No, he but... was. Are you serious? Yeah, we, we, uh, we loved music. At that time, we were so young and we were practically living in Magdi's, like apartment <laughs> pretty much would just wake up and go there yeah. and just chill if you pick, an artist comes and they need help we are helping we we just loved you music to that. yeah the passion was I, just i can there. relate yeah i yeah, totally yeah. understand that and you and i will not finish if you and i keep having <laughs> the main story and it, then we yeah. have side stories yes. and then from the side stories we have sub side stories <laughs> you and i are not gonna finish uh, but i totally love the vibe so much so much love for you mm -hmm. On the WhatsApp platform already, people are saying we love his vibe. I look at your top ten and I see on number nine is the music of Beth and Pasnawa. Oh, I love that song. What yes. is it with you and that song? Uh, that song was in a season. That was my, my transition season when I was uh, about to quit uh, secular music, and I was honing my graphic design skills. Yeah. So I would be working in the middle of the night at three a.m. and I would just press that song and put it on full blast. Oh, and wow. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh, that's nice. It's 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 written by one of uh, um one of the our oh, best songwriters in this nation, Mac D. He's Mac D wrote the song. Yes. And today I'm learning so many. Oh, Mac D is deep. I feel like I'm actually not. I'm shallow. I'm not. I'm not knowing these things. <laughs> so but I love what Bethan does. She is phenomenal. Bethany. I love her. Yeah. <laughs> so this song, 
was my like 3 a.m. song. Wow. I like that. I was like, it oh, was Matty such a joy. such a songwriter of note, yeah? Oh, he's deep. Okay, you and I need to press play on this song. Okay. Because already it's 22 past 8. And I, <laughs> okay, we need to rush it. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no. uh, in Senton, South Africa, we appreciate you. And mm. you've grown, Temba. We've seen you evolve in um, your gospel music journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think you're one of the most genuine gospel musicians we'll ever find. Allow me to say this to you because mm. what, what we see with you is what we get. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like we're going to see you modest and she, she, she. Yeah. and then behind this is just one thing but what you are is and you you have sort of evolved um others would 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 really want to know your mm. journey in the gospel music industry and your wins you mm. know from when you said 2011 tom Rumbiza, how many albums do you have to date what are some mm. of the highlights of your career very quickly um, uh, one of the things that I've been blessed with mm -hmm. is having an audience in Zimbabwe and outside of Zim. Okay. And I attribute that from with uh, my upbringing. So I've got a good rural background. I have a good Chitungiza background. And then that's what Kure, I joined Celebration Church. But now I've been to borrow those. <laughs> so, Cocktail. music, young ones got to you, so ones got to So, that's what helps me connect with people. Yeah. And with that, it has also opened the door to, to, to a diaspora market. I, uh, one of my biggest audience right now is in Jamaica. Wow. Yeah. And Are you serious? God has just ways of doing things. Wow. Yeah. So, that's that has been the highlight of my of my career uh from trading my sorrows i started going to england i was one of one of the first artists to tour england after an atuku and that generation yeah, yeah. before uh, zimbabwe uh, you've been places UK, uh, zimbabwe. you've been places yeah so uh. that, that has been a blessing and i we managed to tour six cities in canada with uh with mcd bethen uh louis david zai and the guys and then I managed to do a tour in the U.S. And God has been good that way. Mm. And it has always been when I think I'm at a dead end, God opens the next level. And then when I think I'm getting tired, God opens. So if you listen to my music, you even hear my story in my songs. Yeah. Songs like Dion, songs like We I. Yeah. And there were really tough times where I felt like I've fallen off grace and I've done so much so many bad things i'm like god why did you even give me yeah. this ministry when you know that i'm not perfect and i have issues and all these things but then that's when he gives me a song like yeah. it, that song now speaks to people that are going through what i'm going through so that has been my the highlight those testimonies i really don't come. want to skip some of your songs but mm -hmm. you and i mm -hmm. are really talking <laughs> very song. but i see riza bosho on your number yes eight song Mm. Is it because you were um, you grew up together in the music industry, you were colleagues, or it's a genuine choice for a song that really kind of is on your playlist in your life? It, it's it's a very um, it's a ama it's an amazing song, so empowering to me. But it was recorded at the same time that I recorded Tom Rumbiza, so we were in the studio at the same time with Saba, and we toured together and mm. we did Zim Praise together. So there's so much history there where I met some of these songs and some of those and what we did with those songs. We did uh, school tours with, with Saba. We would just go to high schools and minister to kids with Zimpres. And we did a lot of that with Jose and Magdi and, and Wendy and the crew. Wow, yeah. I like that. So we're going to press play on Riza Bo. So we are profiling Tembalami's ultimate gospel 10 songs where he says, these in my life are ah, their own rotation. And Riza Boso from Sebastian Magacha is uh, one of the songs that we're pressing play on. 0775 I see the major love. Keep it coming. On our Facebook, Star FM Zimbabwe. And on mine, Yvonne Tivachke, Star FM. Keep the love coming. <laughs> and and you say that it's mm. it's part of Magdi's work as well. Yeah. Mm, he's a genius. Oh, he is. Mag Magdi is deep. Wow. I think one of those people that will give a lifetime achievement award at some point in production yeah 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 is an actor yeah all right let's now talk about um you mentioned that you collaborated with quite a lot you know mm. of artists mm. and i will leave out those were collaborations you worked with so many people mm -hmm. i will tell you when i realized you meant business i, I kept seeing you 
Pani mi cover so ye CD ya kwenye ni ma gloves e boxing. Oh the fight. Kwa the boxing e boxing. Yeah. E boxing. Eh. The fight. Those was the red ones. Yes. Ah, it dawned on me that this guy is serious about his brand, and I think you've you've come out like that as a young man who's very deliberate about what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then there was a song that you did with Janet. Yeah, exactly. You literally came out of your shower like that. It was one of yeah. the most, you know, high quality productions I've ever heard. Yeah. But we want to talk about, according to you, which one has been your best collaboration of all time? Hey, that's a tough one. Remember, we're getting up close and personal with you. We're getting into the <laughs> mind of the singer songwriter. Um, Thoughts that you normally keep to yourself. These artists will kill me. <laughs> um, I hope they don't. Uh, I think the Janet one. Was your best collaboration? Yeah, the ti- the timing of it and what the song means. Yeah, I give it my all and it if I yield the my results, that's the one. Yeah, the 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 Biri was 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 amazing. Wow. And 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 working with with Janet and Munya was was a revelation. Those guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Professional amazing. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we see Jonah Shivasa Washandura, yeah. and I was I was just a, you know having a bit of some banter with you now. To say, but mm. anyway, that's the story for another. Because I last saw Jonah, and I can't even say what. I'm so sure it's not even there. I'm like, Jonah boy. Is he had an event yesterday with Dokozo and Pastor Prince. Oh, he went there? Yeah. Was he playing there? He was playing there. I had great reviews. I was I was at the conference, but, yes, I, but I, I had great reviews of people just saying how amazing he was at that event. I know that there was yeah. that thing, but I also had a, a gig with Capitol Council oh, yes. Station. They were turning six. But... Ha, huh, Jonah has just not been there. He's got a song called Washandura. This song is deep. What what does this song do to you? Like I I love um great songwriting. Mm-hmm. And I think Jonah is one of those people. Wow. He knows how to pen a song. Like I I, I don't know how he does it. Like Revelations. if you look at Nyararai, if you look at Dosnita Nyasha, if you look My at My favorite from Jonah Shivasa is Ngaba Pindia. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's nice. I love that song. But this one. Hey. Uh, he, what nice. Okay, I'm gonna play it now. <laughs> I'm lifting my head. Tim Harum knows about banana first team from here. Tim wants to win, yeah, yeah. Star FM number seven, seven. Tembalami's playlist is so lit. I know, right? He's <laughs> he's so in touch. I think he's um, he's a passionate musician, and I think that's the reasons one of the reasons why. And Jonah here that uh, you play for us also is one one of um, one of the most passionate singers I've actually ever seen. Oh yeah. You know, I, have a, I had a conversation with Jonah at some point. I should I should team. 
when I write songs, it's just as a melody. Mm. Mm. But the, when the words come, yeah, that in your song. Yeah. Oh yes, like, hey. with that guy. Hey, with Takindo. Yeah. I was like, and hey, when I listen to John, I'm like, now which one is my favorite? Now you're confusing me. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's such a brilliant song. Right? We are profiling your top <laughs> yeah. ten songs, your ultimate top ten gospel songs, and I mm. see popping up on number six is Janet Manyo's Nyasha Nengo. <laughs> I have a weird Janet Ma- because look here's the thing um mm. I also kind of share with you as mm. as you come on every Sunday you get tidbits of me as well bits and pieces of exactly. me, pa- parts of me mm. you know as we as we're in conversation I have weird Janet Manua choice songs I mean song choices okay people would go for Nashanengoni and Jimmy and them but I can tell you that in my car this week I think one morning I was actually playing Tarito. That's one of my favorite songs. In fact, that's oh, my favorite Jenny okay. song. Remember the, the COVID one? Oh, Nizuro, she did. Makafanira uh, Kunamatwa. Mm. With the qu- celebration choir yeah. behind. It was electric, like goosebumps. Like, yeah. It was epic. And it, for the me. The atmosphere that she set yesterday was amazing. Wow. Yeah. She's brilliant. No, no. She's, mm. a, she's a worship of note. And you yeah. know what? Tarito for me is one song that that does it for mm. me. I've, I've weird Janet Manyo choices because yeah. everybody will be like, ah, those ones are probably her smallest songs or, you know, and then, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. For me, it's, the, it's just the <laughs> I'm, dedication I'm, I'm gonna... to go to Gonare Show and wear a yellow dress. No, 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 I'm going to ask you to my fans. I was going to talk more about me then I thought, okay, you've this not your ultimate gospel. <laughs> Let's talk to t- <laughs> what, for you, what stuck out was the fact that she yeah. went to a national park yeah. with a dress and uh, carry a whole load of, of cast. <laughs> Go to Gunnar Show, go stand on a ladder in a yellow dress. She means business. And I think that's that's who Janet is. Yeah, so um, some people got angry when I defended her on social media. I didn't want to talk about that. Yes. <laughs> but if you look at that dedication and the devotion, and I'm sure the sacrifice, mm. because m- everything that we do comes at a price. Mm-hmm. The music video that we produce, yeah, Pane Mwana Patum Bushaya Yogat, good video, yeah, yeah. And for me, I have great respect for people that do that. That, that, yeah, yeah, you can feel that there's, there's some work put in there, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, one of the reasons why I did, really didn't want to talk about that episode that happened, you know, mm. after the top 50 and all. I think, in, in, in short, I, I really didn't want to give it attention, but in short, I think if you don't get it, forget it. That's 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 my response. If you don't get why, yeah, yeah, ah, forget but it. But there's news, I think that change after that. <laughs> <laughs> but there's news, man, song, you want and try to narrow the man. It's okay, some of my guns, so that's all. That's the one. Can I add that to my ultimate taste? Okay, but and I'm having so much fun with you. Sir. What does Nyasha Ningoni do to you? What? On all of on Janet's catalog, for me, Tariro, like I was I was telling you, it's like a personalized letter. Hey, mm. Kuti, there's words in that song. I can play it maybe eight or nine times. Go on. There's words in that song that says, "You know that mm. it's like God Himself is asking me, Kuti, that sort of thing. What is your relationship with Nyasha Ningoni? For me, um. I, I I think of myself as an inspirational gospel artist. Mm. I love to inspiration. I love songs that bring me from that place where stress. There's a way you create no, the I, atmosphere. I, I, I see mm. all these situations, but yeah. <laughs> let's press play on it. People are waiting for Yasha Ningoni. Yes. I am Boston Asia. Thanks so much for yeah. watching. Thanks so much for the, and for everything that you do in the music industry. Yeah, yeah everybody yeah. else that is uh, watching on Facebook, we appreciate you. And Temela and Aiga are first running out of time, guys. Indestructible, Pastor G.
Um, I will tell you a short story about Indestructible. Indestructible yeah. was the very first song to play on Star FM. Wow. It is a dear song to us. Pastor G is our. It was on the 25th of June. 2012. I'm touched. I DJ you were going Munya. To say no, no, no. Hang on. DJ Munya was sitting right here, mm. and we. Do you know? Could there's power in declarations? Yeah, that's the true. first song to play at midday. That was our first shift. Oh, wow. Was indestructible. indestructible, and we've been like that since. It, it's, it's we're a, right there on top of our game. It's a powerful, powerful song. You've got a relationship with Pastor G. Oh, I love Pastor G. I like like we we go back to starting Zim Praise together, and just walking until now. He's one of my mentors, one of those people that I call that Mkoma Nasika can attend your few and dinner. Oh, he's, he's right he, there. He's, he's, that, he's that kind of a friend oh, where I, like that. I can be vulnerable and oh. say, I'm Koma Ndripama one. And there are very few people like that. Mm. Okay, you, you can be vulnerable. When with. you, the more famous you become, mm. the less friends you have. Yeah. Because you've become an interesting topic. Kudara before this. Who wants to hear story? Ya ya Johnu kuma vuk. Kud Johnu kuma vuk naza na na ten years. But ten years. But ten years. You are ten balami. Ne man suta ano zumbu buda kafi kaya. Ten years. So it 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 you just becomes the story. But, but, but he's one of those people that I I can actually say he's a dear friend. Let's press play on indestructible. He's he's one of my role models now because mm. of the weight loss journey. Oh, basically what what that journey is saying to me is you've no it is. Full stop. <laughs> Star <laughs> FM R F M number five. Jisha, you really brag it on this one. But look, I also see that uh, Sharon Manyongani says Akatendeka is also there. It's on amazing. Your list. Oh, I love, I love Sharon. She's amazing. Sharon was here um, she was? two weeks ago. Was those, I, those were my first guests. On was my I on their ago. list? Okay. If I'm not on their list, Re someone is going yourself. to get a call from me right now. <laughs> 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 but I love. Tim is altering the top ten as we go. <laughs> I'm removing you. <laughs> I now have beef. <laughs> no, but it's it's a beautiful, beautiful song. Yeah. Like when I got the song, it was in a season where I was getting tired. Mm -hmm. And he said, he who that became a good word. And you? Make a cut. Zato Pera. We press play on this one. Anzi, your playlist is lit. Shall we talk about... um? You being a husband, mm -hmm. you are a husband. Finally, we thank God for that sister who then came in and decided yes. that they were red. I feel sorry for her. <laughs> but this <laughs> took me for another day. Yeah. <sighs> and then you're a dad now. Mm -hmm. And also, you're a businessman. Yes. And I think you're a passionate musician. And you're still young at heart. You love fun. And how do you tie it all into one? And it makes sense. I... It baffles me still, like mm. how uh, other people do it. 
because sometimes for me it's real it's a real struggle like living to tour travel mm. to all this be things, with the family be with the family it's um it has to be it has to do with intention i have to be very intentional mm. otherwise punish no sara yeah. no so we are we're looking at uh business work the going to work and mm. also having time for the kids and then ministry serving at church and all of those things tying them together it's a lot of work but um my wife is a very patient woman sometimes oh, oh so sometimes. it helps <laughs> <laughs> it helps and then there are how, some things that we we have a passion for how is she sometimes <laughs> how is she sometimes? <laughs> uh, I'm <laughs> oh my so there are certain things that we do together like like church and all those things it helps when you have got interests that interse- intersect mm. and there are some a series that we watch together like we're watching new amsterdam we're watching doctors these days Aww. so there are some things that we get to do together oh, that's that, beautiful. Ma- that that makes life easier i like that but we 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 we, we do clash sometimes i will suggest a series for you yeah i mean blood which and one? water on netflix blood and water it's a beautiful one okay. but that's beside the point all right anyway um people say tembalami is a devoted christian tembalami is a fun guy ah tembalami is my kind of guy okay Yes. Let's, let's not read that. But <laughs> <laughs> Nash TV Zimbabwe is also watching with us. Shout out to you, Kevi. Oh, shout out to Nash TV. Thank, thank, you, thank you, so you so much for yeah. doing that. Yeah. And on number three is your own song, mm. which which probably is is also one of my. Even I think Pani 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 my ultimate hundred. Yang Wang. Because it's one of my songs, mm. and I think it's it's one of the best songs to come out of your mouth. Mirira. Oh, thank you. Let's talk thank about you. about that. Like, oh, why is it on number three on your list? What does it do to you? Does it also minister to you or you just like it? Oh, it does. I, I think one of the things that happens to an artist is by the time the song comes out, you're already tired of it. You don't even want to hear your own voice anymore mm, mm. because you will go through it when you're writing it. You go into studio, you add guitars every time you're listening to it. Mm. And then you go to music, to so videos. But mm-hmm. if you do write a song that even when, after going through all of that and you still want to listen to it, then it's a good song. Like so this that. is one of those songs for me beautiful and then for me it's the video in the white shade in the wind oh yeah. star of him <laughs> number three <laughs> that's another yeah, story for another day life. but hands and timber lamika mirira zayu ah that's my song and on facebook as well ah people loving this one uh, timber we need to move swiftly along Sha. Yes, mirira yes. is one of your it's one of your biggest songs ah thank you timber you have no idea how big this song is Th- this song was a, was such a blessing it just went into sa and in one gospel mm. and all these places and it came in a season where did you shoot that video very tough season. You, you looked like you were, you were abroad you were exactly the location was so well, nice it's a secret location okay, yeah cool. it was it was confusing because people didn't understand was it snow or was but it who was burning who was blowing your your shirt with a fan it, it should be Mac G. It not was just a windy day. Look at Mac G. cafe. But I would not put Janet from having a fan on a video shoot. She's, she's amazing <laughs> like Janet was in the middle of the forest with a staircase. <laughs> uh, yeah, and a yellow dress. <laughs> you, keep, you keep insisting. I'm that like, <laughs> I don't know who was on the lookout looking out for the elephants. Like, it's all somewhere. <laughs> Like it's too bright to be there. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's 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 press play on your number two song. Um, mm-hmm. Goodness of God, Bethel yes, Music. Yes, yes, yes. What does this one do to you? Um, this one was my lockdown song. I did a a, a cover for it, mm-hmm. and the song got like seven million views. Mm. I think this is my most watched song on YouTube. Wow. And I wasn't even singing it right mm-hmm. when I listened to the recording. But I think it was the season that I was in and everything that was happening around me in that time. And it was amazing. Good. We've got five more minutes to beg from the next presenter, but we press play on goodness of God. And when we come back, you talk to us about your honest assessment of the country's gospel music sector at the moment. And then we conclude. (laughs) (laughs) But as we conclude, your honest assessment of the country's gospel music industry at the moment, what do you think? What are your feelings? Are you proud to be in the Zimbabwean gospel music right now? Um, One of the things that um, really inspires me is when I look at uh, what most of our gospel music music artists are doing Mm -hmm. if you look at gospel music in 
on the entertainment spectrum, mm -hmm. we get the least airtime on radio. Mm. Yeah, we are only played sometimes. Yeah. But um, with all of that, if you look at the biggest events mm -hmm. that happened right last now, year, yeah. or even that are still happening yes. now, they are gospel music events. Yeah. If you look at the most organized events, mm -hmm. they are gospel music events. So I know a lot of people say, eh, it's no butter, no, mm. what, what, what? Mm. I've heard people say that. Okay. But it's not even that. We, our industry is just bigger mm. than uh, we we have m a lot of gospel artists over 200 of them mm. and we all in in different spaces mm. there are places that Matthias and Dukas Moyo mm -hmm. go and do it th that I can't go mm. like Matthias Mary is amazing he can do uh, he has done shows in Che 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 in Cha 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 in Gokwe in what what ah. Nimbu he has been there yeah. and his brand can sustain him in those spaces mm. then there are spaces where uh, maybe um, Everton mm. will go yeah because of his background and what and God has and taken what he represents. and what he represents, mm. there are doors that will open. He will go and do a song with Lady Smith, Black Mambazo, oh, five-time Grammy Award She's winning. Wrong, yeah. But it's all it's it's what we all uh, want to do. But God has grace for certain people and for a certain season. So I think understanding that as a gospel industry, I think we are doing amazing. Your number one song, Temba, mm. is what we're going to walk out with. Okay. Minister Michael Mahindra in direct worship is your, is your eh. number one song in your life right now. Eh. Because of Abuda Pakao. Mm. <laughs> and you look up to the minister. And uh, <sighs> it's just a lot. You know, you know, you know, when I look at minister. His, his journey is like mine. Taka mm. bagush tungu is a chase. Okay. So, pade kwa taka hava ni mkoma na uyu. Kwa kuti when he says ndino buda paka oma, I can testify because I've seen him. Paka oma pashwa katu mpaka oma. Buda paka oma. <laughs> and even in ini when I look at my situation, do you know what I mean? It does buda paka oma. Paka oma zwa buda nduku pa buda. Great. Where can people get in touch with you very quickly, Temba? You've been amazing. Oh, I need mean, I'm on Facebook and I'm on Instagram and it's, it, I'm, I'm the easiest person to find. Hi. <laughs> she wants to beat us up because we've taken five minutes of No, it. she can join us and dance to this song with us. Because <laughs> this one we are going to dance to. Puru Akusakumba wants to beat us up. But look, um... Temba, thank you so much for honoring our invite. No, thank, thank you for you being so a lively much. guest. Thank you for yeah. being so genuine. May you mm. continue just being an open, you know, an open book for wearing your heart on your sleeve. That, mm. that quality. Never lose it, yeah. No, thank you we so like much. That. Yeah. Okay. I, I just need to learn <laughs> to dance like, like Minister <laughs> like Michael. He's just, every performance, he comes up with a new dance. You know. <laughs> Dino Buda Pakaoma is the number one song. You've on TVHK is my name. And I'll definitely link up with you on Tuesday. But this has been Timbalami's Ultimate Gospel 10. Thank you so much for listening. Love, light. Take care of yourselves. Good night.